Let's bring in Carl Rowe, former White House Deputy Chief of Staff to President George W. Bush and a Fox News contributor. Carl, you were just quoted by the president I was in that interview with the president there uh, about elections being about the future, not about the past. I want to I want to ask you about the debates tonight in a second. But first to the Mueller report news and the fact that we are now going to see Robert Mueller on the Hill publicly testifying July 17th. That's going to be a big day. A, a really big day, but we shouldn't overestimate um, how big it's going to be. Uh, look, if Mueller stays within the four corners of his report, as he says, we're going to simply hear more of what we've heard before. And I think it's interesting, since the Mueller report came out, if people read about it, maybe even read the report themselves, digested it, heard about it, the president's favorable, unfavorables have stabilized, and the percentage of people who say that the uh, impeachment process should not go forward has risen. So I know the president gets upset about Mueller, but Mueller has provided a way to, to sort of basically for the administration to say, we've already had this litigated, this has already been reviewed, let's move on to the business of the country. Democrats make a mistake by letting this I investigation and impeachment uh, narrative dominate uh, the, the conversation for them. Interesting, the uh, warning from the House Freedom Caucus chairman there, but Democrats better be prepared. Elizabeth Warren, possibly the biggest heavy hitter that we'll hear from tonight, she tweeted this out on the Mueller report. She said that report made clear that the president obstructed justice multiple times. If he were anyone else, he'd be in handcuffs. Attorney General Barr can try to cover for the president all he wants, but the American people deserve to hear the full truth from Mueller himself. What does that tell you about the directions Democrats will go in uh, in that committee hearing room on Capitol Hill July 17th? Well, it, it says they're going to hyperventilate. And again, I'm not certain this is ultimately with the group of people that are up for grabs in this election, swing voters, that this is a compelling argument. Think about what she just said. There, there's clear evidence of obstruction. Mm -hmm. Well, did President Obama obstruct the Hillary Clinton investigation when he went out publicly and said before the Comey News Conference that she had not done anything wrong? Should he somehow be charged with obstruction of justice? Was the Attorney General of the United States guilty of obstruction of justice for meeting with former President Bill Clinton on the tarmac in Phoenix where he wanted to talk to her. Was Bill Clinton engaged in obstruction of justice? Look, the American people are basically fair and practical, and if they keep doing this, the Democrats are going to have to start answering questions about things like that, and ordinary Americans are going to say, we've had enough. Get, let us move on to the business of the country. All right, so two nights, 10 candidates each night, Carl Rove, beginning tonight, the president was asked in that new interview with Maria Bartiromo a few minutes ago if he'd watch. Here's how he responded. It just seems very boring, but I'm going to watch it because I have to. That's part of my life. You know, it's part of my life. Do I want to watch it? Do I want to watch these people? Uh, that's a very unexciting group of people. Biden is a lost soul. He doesn't know where he is, I don't think. He's, uh, he's changing his views rapidly. What do you expect, Carl, when those candidates take the stage tonight? Well, first of all, this is part of a process. How many debates did we have in 2016 on the Republican side? An infinite number of them. Can you remember one single moment that sort of crystallized everything, particularly one of the early debates? I, I can't. Uh, think about the Democrat debates in 2008 and 2016. They had a smaller group of characters, but even then, it's hard to put a finger on it, something in one debate that causes everything to change. So we ought to look at this, particularly with 10 people on the stage. Think about it, 90 minutes, 10 people, five moderators, 15 people trying to get a word in edgewise. They're going to have three or four moments a piece or five moments at most in order to save their piece. And what's going to be left is an impression of who that individual is. It's going to be very hard to get a viral moment that's going to somehow bust this thing open. It's going to be a cumulative process of people saying, well, you know, I saw, you know, Elizabeth Warren. She seemed to make some sense on this. Or mm -hmm. Robert Francis O'Rourke, he, he seemed to, to give me a good impression. I want to hear and learn more. So this is just the beginning of people absorbing this information and having an impact well, on their vote. that is the point of these debates, to hear and learn more about each right. candidate. Carl Rove, appreciate your time this morning, sir. Thank you.